been a while since I posted a new video. I hope you missed me. I'm so sorry I've been busy. I've been working on my Halloween costume this year so I just finished sewing my dress yesterday. It's not gonna be that fancy. I just wanted to DIY um, my costume this year because I don't want to spend so much for a costume that I'm just gonna use once a year. So yeah, anyway, yeah, that's why I haven't been making any videos and I had some other uh, DIY projects that I did. Um, should I show you? Okay, I will. By the way, I'm not selling these and I don't plan on selling these in the future because I, I I think I posted it on my blog and I've, I've already received a comment um, that uh, if ever I'm interested on selling it, she would buy. But yeah, not at the moment because I want to try to perfect it before I sell stuff. So anyway, um, I watched Anna Shine's video and oh my god, so excited. I ordered leather fabric, leather, just faux leather fabric um, online and decided to do this American Apparel inspired pouches, Carol pouches. So I did like four in different colors. So, yeah. At the store, it retails for from forty to seventy dollars, I think. So, yeah, I just decided to do make my own. So yeah, I made one in mustard. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Not too shabby, huh? So yeah. I think this is just a medium size pouch. And I made one in blue. This is my favorite because it has the contrasting zipper. And uh, in brown. This is a bigger one. I've made in I've made them in different sizes since I don't my my zipper sizes are different. So this is yeah. Another favorite of mine. And this is in is this maroon? But with a pink zipper. So yeah. So it's not that perfect, that's why I don't want to sell it. So yeah. I just made some for myself. That's why I'm busy. I haven't been making any videos. So yeah, and hmm. Can you tell my eyes are red? I just got home from work and uh, yeah, so tired. My eyes are red. I've been wearing my contacts for more than eight hours now. So yeah, almost probably almost 10 hours now. But anyway, yeah, I'm so sorry my eyes are red, but that won't stop me from making a video for you guys since I love you all. I have my bridge box for this month um, that I want to share with you guys. This year they're celebrating their first year anniversary and I think if I'm not mistaken I joined them around November but I got my first birch box December last year so they're celebrating their first anniversary so happy birthday birch box and um, yeah, this month um, here's what I got for this month since, um, yeah, they said it's their birthday, so they're celebrating us instead of them. <laughs> so, um, the products that they included on this month, um, represents every aspect of the Birchbox personality, so I'm just going to go through the list. The first one is minimalist personality. Um, I got the color science pro sun forgettable uh, mineral powder in SPF 30 and medium. And I think this is my color. Um, this is the first time I heard about this color science. Not really familiar with their products, but this is pretty cool. 
because right now I'm using the Bare Minerals ooh, matte foundation and this is only SPF 15 so this has more sunscreen protection SPF 30 so can't wait to try that and the sample size that I got is 1.5 grams um, the regular price is $28 to $50 so I don't know where this product is available just look it up online next is for the adventurous one so yeah got the in cocoa nail polish applique this is like the Sally Hansen um, ew, what happened to my lighting there yeah, this is like the Sally Hansen nail strips. So yeah, and I got it in zebra print. How cool is that? Although I've been wanting to get the leopard ones, but this is still good. Um, yeah, I've never tried the Sally Hansen one, so I'm really excited to try this. And from the instructions here, it looks like it's really easy to use. And I'm not planning on putting everything on my nail, the whole thing on my nail I'm thinking of like cutting it into small strips and um, do like a French a French uh, like a mani but instead of the white French mani I'm, I want to put the the prints and yeah I think that'll look real cool so yeah can't wait to try the cocoa ones oh the uh, the sample I got 12 12 nail, nail strips but uh, the regular uh, size for this uh, has 16 strips um, retails for $7.99 to $10.99 and um, the next one is for the practical personality and that's got the Jouer conditioning lip treatment and this is um yeah this is a lip conditioner it's like all in one um it hydrates it plumps and it conditions your lips and the sample size that i got is 0.07 fluid ounces and the regular size is 0.33 fluid ounces for $14 so yeah can't wait to try this again and next one is for the take charge personality and got the Jurlik Jurlik purely H defying ultra firm and lift, lift cream so yeah and again it's an anti-aging cream and uh, let me see, this is the sample size is 5 ml. Um, regular size is 1.7 ounces. And gosh, it's so expensive $70. So yeah, this is the sample size. And next one is for the classic personality and this is my favorite um yeah um you know how i love perfumes you've seen that i have a lot uh, well i have some perfumes i i collect perfumes so yeah this is the salvatore ferragamo um sampler this is a timo low floral hope i pronounce it correctly and I already sprayed it on my wrist so yeah I really 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 love this this has a very light floral scent and let me see okay the description on this one fresh bouquet with smells like a fresh bouquet with a heart of Bulgarian rose that's that subtly uh, fuses with delicate and luxurious hints of pink peony and lotus flowers so yeah I really really love the smell of this it smells very classic and as a birch box treat they included this 
friendship bracelet. Really cute. So, I think I'm gonna wear this. Like, if you wanna stack your bracelets, this would look really cool. So, that's it. That's my birch box for this month. And, did any of you guys get some Missoni items from Target? Uh, wasn't able to go to the Target, to my nearby Target, so I missed out on that. I did get some stuff, but just left over items that I'm still waiting to be delivered. So yeah, once I get everything, um, I'm gonna do a haul video on that. So yeah, I guess that's it for now, and yeah, um... I hope you guys like my haul video and please rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, if you guys uh, are subscribed to Birchbox, um, I want to see what you guys got. So yeah, leave a video response down below. So I guess that's it. See you guys next time and hope you all have a great week. Bye.